Hey all beautiful people out there, what's up? This is Abhijit Nai aka The Code Man. So today we're gonna uh, explore a very important concept in graph theory and that's graph traversal. So there are two types of uh, graph traversal algorithms. First is DFS, depth first traversal. Yeah. And the second one is PFS, breadth first traversal. And we're gonna be exploring DFS in this video tutorial. So let's explore what is DFS through an animation that is present on the hacker of hacker of a website. So we use a uh, stack data structure for this, which uh, follows the principle of first and last out. And uh, as you can see, the graph here has six nodes, four, five, six, and each node represents an alphabet. So we're going to be proceeding in alphabetical manner here. So the first node uh, in our DFS recursion, we're going to start from the A node and then proceed alpha in an alphabetical manner through all the nodes. So we're going to be starting from the uh, A node. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to mark A as visited and then proceed to uh, and then push A to the stack. So the top element of stack now is A, and then we're going to print this A to our result. After that, we're going to proceed to, we can proceed to either E node, C, or, uh, yeah, A to E or C. But since we are following an alphabetical order, we're going to be visiting C here. So we go to C, we find it that it's now visited, so mark it as visited and now we're gonna uh, proceed to either B, F, uh, yeah, we can proceed to B or F. And uh, again, following alphabetical order, we're gonna be visiting B first. And then mark it as visited and push it on to the top of the stack. Sorry. So now the top element of stack is B and from B we go to uh, from B we can go to C or F but since C is already visited we won't be visiting C again and we'll be proceeding to F. So we proceed to F, we mark it as visited and uh, push it onto the top stack. Now from F we can go to D, E or B. But since B is already visited, we're gonna be going to denote D following the alphabetical mail. So it's gonna be D now. And D is, D is also visited and pushed onto the top step. Now from D, you can go to C or F. But since both are visited, we're gonna be popping D out of the step. So we pop D of the stack, we come to F. Now from F, we can move to E. So we'll be proce uh, processing the E and F each. And you can also go to this site and, you know, check out this animation. F. Now from F, uh, we can see that all the adjacent nodes are visited. So uh, we're going to be popping off each uh, element one by one. So E is popped, F is popped, B is popped, C is popped, and finally uh, A is also popped. And our DFS is completed, and this is the final result. A, C, B, F, D, E. So let's now jump onto the code. So here is my class, which I have named DFS recursion. So first we need to uh, make a graph class to, uh, to make our graph and then we can proceed for the DFS so let's make our graph static class Oops, sorry class graph and we have a data member vertices and also linked list that is our adjacency list where we need to uh, 
where which is required to store our notes. So link list integer adjacency list. If you have any doubts regarding implementation of a graph, then please refer back to my video tutorials where I have explained in very depth how to um, implement a graph data structure. So here is link, link list adjacency list and we need to initialize our data members. So here is our constructor. This vertices equals to vertices. And adjacency list equals to new link list vertices. Also, we need to import the link list from the uh, util class of Java. So import Java dot util dot because we need scanner to take user input and then and here we need to make an array of link lists uh, which is going to be a virtual sense list. So here. Uh, for integer i equals zero, i smaller than vertices i plus plus. Oops, sorry. Adjacent list of i equals to new link list. And now we need a method to uh, link to what is this in our graph. So it's going to be void add it and integer source and integer destination vertex and it's going to be adjacent list source dot add destination and it's gonna be a directed graph this time this this not gonna be uh, two edges from one node it's only gonna be one way node one way edge so we have made our graph now it's time to uh, time to make function for DFS so there's going to be void fs and it's going to take a start vertex and in this function we're going to uh, initialize uh, a logical array uh, which uh, will keep track of the visited of the visited nodes so it's going to be boolean visited to new boolean vertices and this function is now going to call another function the fs recursion and pass on start vertex FS recursion oops TFS recursion and it's going to have integer start and the first node that we're going to visit we are going to mark it as uh, visited so that it isn't processed again or there shouldn't be a self loop uh, while performing the DFS. So we're going to mark this as visited. Visited star equals to true. 
I'm going to print it out. System dot out dot print and uh, it's dot some space. Now for now we're going to proceed uh, to the adjacent adjacent nodes of this start vertex and uh, the do DFS on them for integer i equals to zero i is one of them adjacent list start dot uh, size i plus plus uh, integer destination we're gonna just write test equals to adjacency list start dot dot get i this we are saying uh, we are uh, writing the code to uh, mm -hmm. store the uh, adjacent uh, the adjacent vertex of the start vertex uh, in in the test variable and we're going to check if that node has been visited or not so if visited test i mean if it is not visited so we'll put it like that if it is not visited then again perform dfs on it and make it visited and proceed to the next vertex of the current uh word current vertex that is our test variable here so dfs recursion and it's going to be test this time So that's it. We are done with our DFS function. And here in the main method, let's declare a scanner object. System dot in. Uh, we're gonna ask for the number of vertices as usual. So it's going to be enter the number of vertices. And let's be in v equals to s dot next int. And we also need to declare the object of our graph plus. So graph g equals to new graph. Going to pass what is this to our constructor now for integer i equals to zero i smaller than vertices for oh, i mean v i plus plus we're going to ask a source and a destination of next time. and we're going to add an edge to our source and our destination source destination so this is done and we're going to uh, call the dfs on one of the nodes present in our graph so Okay, uh, we're gonna call it on the zero node. Uh, yeah, our function is dfs. We need to call dfs through this function, and this function will, uh, will in fact call the dfs recursion function, and this will recursively traverse through the graph and print out the result. So, g dot. Function name it's DFS capital DFS DFS and zero. Well, it's not necessary to put zero, you can traverse the graph through any node. I'm just putting it zero uh, 
well, you know, better, mm. I guess. Mm. So let's paste our code here. And let's execute it. Oh, there's some errors here. Okay, we need to declare visited out as a global variable here. So it's Boolean visited. And then we can initialize it here. And vertices, uh, that's it. And also, we need to pass way here. That's it. I guess those are the errors. Let's execute it. It's gonna take some time. Oh, sorry, I forgot to toggle the interactive button on. Number of vertices, we're gonna pass three vertices, and uh, it's gonna be zero, one, one, and two, and two, and zero. So this is our DFS result zero, one, two. So, as you can see here, we have made a cyclic graph here, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and 2 to 0. So, it starts its uh, DFS from the 0th node, and then marks it as visited, then proceeds to the adjacent node that is 1, marks it as visited, and also brings it to, it to the visible, and then it proceeds to 2, and from 2, it proceeds back to zero but since zero is already visited so it doesn't print it on to the result again and this way we avoid self loop in DFS regression. So let's, uh, now let's try with another node here. So let's with one here. Let's see what's the result. So let's put number three and let's get the zero, one, one, two, and then two zero. This time it's one two zero. So it starts from one, proceeds to, then from two to zero, and then from zero to one. But since one is already visited, so it doesn't process process it again. And let's also just you know uh, see what's the result with two. We need to have the same graph, so 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0. Now this time it's 2, 0, 1, so it's like a triangle, like from 0, 1, and then 2. From 2 to 0, 0 to 1, so we get the result as 2, 0, 1. So I hope you. Uh, Got know how to perform how to implement a DFS recursion in Java and if you have any doubt or if I have left anything out in the video please put it on the, uh, put it in the comment section I will be responding to it as fast as possible and if you have liked my video please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and peace